welcome back to Two Minutes with an Art Eater. I'm your host, Kayla Quiroz. I'm so excited to present a very special guest speaker, the wonderful Summer Session. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Let's get started. What is your year, major, and pronouns? Uh, so this is my third and final year in the uh, MFA directing program. Uh, and uh, my pronouns, I go by all pronouns. So she, her, he, they, um, Zim, uh, I'll take any pronoun. Perfect. And then when did you start uh, to become involved with directing? Oh, wow. Um, so I first got involved with directing when I was in community college. That's going on almost eight years now um so yeah eight years ago <laughs> well speaking of directing give us a brief rundown of the upcoming uci drama show the sequel um awesome yeah so uh i am directing uh anton Chekhov's the seagull uh the translation is by julia smolinski and ryan mckittrick and um it's a new take on a classic piece of theater. Um, we are uh, playing around with uh, creating a world that is both contemporary and classical at the same time. Um, and also putting to the forefront the issues and themes within the play and how they relate to um, our modern day artists and modern day society. Wow, that's so cool. I'm very excited to see the show. Um, what has been you. your favorite moment in rehearsals for the show so far? Oh, my favorite moment in rehearsals. Um, you know, I really, I just really love working with actors and uh, giving a note that is so far from what they believe the character is supposed to be like um, and letting them feel what that's like and letting them um, perform the scene with that note and seeing the difference between or like the juxtaposition between um, the different ways that these characters can think. And I think that's something special about this play and about Chekhov's work versus um, some other theater uh, because they are such complex characters. Their responses to the world around them is also very complex and can go in so many different routes, just like, you know, we as humans in the real world. Yes, that is very true. Next question, what types of shows are you attracted to in regards to directing? It's hard because I don't know that there's like a specific type of show that I'm drawn to. I can do anything. <laughs> um, you know, if you give me a play, I can figure out a way to do it and I can figure out something to love about that play. Um, things that I have fun directing or um, am a little more excited about directing, I would say, um, would be language driven shows like Chekhov pieces um, or uh, horror theater, which is something that I'm focusing on. I'm trying to um, bring back the audience that horror theater can draw in and um, play around with what it is that we can do on stage today that creates that horror aesthetic and that put some fear in the audience members yeah <laughs> that's so cool you'll work your magic and everything <laughs> oh yes oh yes <laughs> all right well let's jump on to speed round answer as fast as you can okay. what's your favorite fruit <laughs> my favorite fruit yeah. uh oh uh, a pomegranate mm, best movie of all time of all time that's hard uh um uh, moulin rouge and then goldfish or cheese it's Oh, goldfish. Yeah, okay. Favorite musical? Pippin. And then what sound does an anteater make? Zot, zot, zot. Well, you did amazing. It's been so great having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, happy to be here. Yeah. And that's all for today. Reminder, y'all, get your seagull tickets. It's going to be amazing. Yes, get your tickets. Our first weekend is already sold out. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Again, I'm Kayla Kiros. Stay safe, have a beautiful day, and zot, zot, zot. Mm -hmm.